Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my home. Today we are doing a home tour, which I'm super excited about because we moved here about like a year ago and I wanted to like do like an official home tour and like show everyone. But at the same time, when you first move, you always feel like there's stuff that needs to be done with the house. And our house is not that big. So the things that need to be done is more of like paring down and moving some stuff into storage or selling because we moved from a house a year ago in Redondo Beach, we live in Silver Lake now, that was like 2,100 square feet, and now we live in a house that's like 1,350. And it's just Shay and I and our dog, so it totally works. But I love this house. I have kind of gotten in this habit of not like getting super attached to places because Shay and I have moved five times in five years. And the first house we ever bought was in Echo Park, which is just like 10 minutes that way to the east, and we live in Silver Lake. And I love this area, I love being in LA. We used to live in Redondo Beach and after buying our house in Echo Park and then selling it, we moved to Redondo and I just was not very happy there because it was kind of like a slower paced life. It's not really LA, it's more like a beach city and it's gorgeous and beautiful and you feel like you're on vacation when you're there but we just kind of really enjoyed being up closer to my twin sister and in Los Angeles, like the heart of LA where there's like so many restaurants and wine bars and cool like shops and stuff like that. So it's been really nice but um he does commute down to the south bay to work which is like a huge sacrifice and he does it because he knows that overall like our lifestyle is better when we live up here and we're just happier and my sister who is my twin sister we're the bottom of five we're the youngest she lives two minutes away from me so it's so amazing it's so perfect i love this house and you'll just see why with some of the different details i show you in the tour but yeah so just a little background on why we moved five times in the last five years Shay does real estate and we've always just been kind of comfortable with the idea of like buying and selling because he doesn't do residential or anything but just having a knowledge on real estate in general kind of takes the fear out of it so we have moved quite a bit i don't know how long we'll be here for i'm not even getting too attached or like doing too many of the projects i want to do because part of me is like we might move in six months i don't know i have no idea what the, the future holds but i am absolutely obsessed with this house it's kind of crazy how, how it all came about like I described this house to a T to my brother who's a general contractor because we were going to build um, a house in Redondo Beach and just make it and I was like I want huge floor to ceiling windows, I want it to be all white and kind of minimal, I want there to be like um, white uppers and oak lowers and I want the fridge to be paneled in white oak and like all these things are walnut and literally the house came on the market the next day and I was like okay God is telling me that he wants me in LA. Um, and I feel like he's doing something in our lives and he's putting us here for a reason. So we're super excited to be here. It's been a year now and we love it. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to give you a background on the place, but I will now give you the tour. So let's go. All right. So I have to stand here because it's a small entryway. That's Shay's <laughs> truck thing and I'm not moving it because it's heavy. Um, but this is our entryway. When you first walk in the house, I love just the natural light that comes through the windows and reflects off of these mirrors. I got them from CB2. Um, and just using little trinkets like from vintage stores, that dip tea candle is amazing, it's my favorite, um, to just decorate the entryway. And when you come in, straight down this hall is our master bedroom. Um, and if you go right up these stairs, it is to our second floor where the kitchen and living room is. So if you just walk down this way, this is Cookie, one of my two little babies. This is where we keep the utilities, so like utility closet, washer, dryer, and then Shay's closet is in here, which we love because it just looks super airy and clean without blocking off and making the room look smaller. So this is where Chloe watches the housewives and the view during the day. <laughs> um, but I love this room because we're right off of our deck, which is one of my favorite places in the house. We don't even come out here that often, mostly just because we can just see it. It just feels really serene and peaceful. There's a fire pit and there's outdoor seating area. And it's just super, super lush back here. Being in the middle of LA, you would think it was definitely not nearly as lush and beautiful in the backyard, but it really is. It's so pretty and we have a little dog run right here. We planted some taller hedges so that people can't really see into our master bedroom. But I just love this room because it's super open and bright. And again, with the curtains, it just kind of makes the room feel really airy and flowy instead of like blocked off. That's where my clothes are and we built a closet in here. So this is our room. It's not super, super big, but it's just perfect for what we need. And then it goes straight into the master bath, which I love because it's super clean and just like, I don't know, really, really 
easy and pretty. I love it. Um, and it, you know, this window looks up to the backyard. It's just nice. I love it. The, the way they did it is super, super clean. So this is what the closet looks like closed. I'm going to show you in a second what it looks like open. It's actually huge. This was not here when we moved in. Um, this is my closet. <laughs> She's closed down from here. So we actually built him another closet behind the other curtains in the hallway. But we love this space because if it's closed, it still looks super airy and minimal. But yeah, the closet space is perfect and we just love being here. Like when we come home from vacation now, it just feels so nice because we love being home. And I got this rug on eBay. I get a lot of stuff on eBay for Cherish and love vintage and consignment stuff for my house. This is the guest bedroom and you guys, like I said, I did not change things around just because I was doing a tour. Hey, this is the guest bathroom. I love it because it's just same thing, super airy and bright and really spacious for when we have guests. This is our guest bedroom. We have a desk here for when Shay's working from home. But like, look, we have stuff still on the ground. I'm not, I wasn't gonna move it just for this because I thought this is real life. People have crap in their guest bedroom. <laughs> and um, we have our Peloton in here. One thing that I would love to have eventually would be um, a guest bedroom and then like some sort of workout room or something, or like a third or fourth. I think eventually we're gonna want more space, but this is our stairway going up to our kitchen. I did all of these pictures myself. I did a gallery wall just through getting really nice coffee table books and cutting out pictures that I loved really. Um, and then framing them in really fun brass frames. I use Slim Aaron's photos a lot. This is the kitchen. I am obsessed with this kitchen. I'm obsessed with how airy and bright everything is. And I love this peekaboo window. Not really peekaboo, I mean it's huge. It's kind of dirty from all the rain. But it looks outside. You can see our dogs playing or whatever. It's just super nice. We put these pendant lights in. I love these floor to ceiling windows. They're huge. They let in so much natural light. Um, and I love my living room. So this is the thing about moving from a space that is 2,000 square feet to 1,300 is I have furniture for much bigger spaces. And so we had to kind of just, I kept all my favorite pieces, but like not super spatially done correctly. Like these chairs are super close to the coffee table and you know, it could be a bigger space to fit all this furniture. But at the same time, I really didn't want to get rid of it seeing as how we move a ton. Like who knows, maybe the next house will have a big living room, I don't know. So I just made it work and I sold the rest. But I really love this living room. It's just super bright. It makes me happy to be in here. We have a lot of vintage furniture mixed with new stuff that's kind of clean lines, but modern. Um, and then we just walk this way and have just a little bathroom over here super cute and just small for our guests when we come upstairs. Um, so we don't have to run downstairs every single time, but it's a really cute bathroom. It's teeny and we have pretty views of the hills over here and we have gorgeous views from here. I'm gonna open this curtain so you guys can see. So I had to turn off the camera and turn down the ISO because it's so bright naturally, but just the views from here are gorgeous. And this just makes us happy like just being in the kitchen in the morning and here at night just the twinkly lights like it's gorgeous we're so grateful to live in this house and it's just like it, it just puts us in a good mood so and then i will take you guys outside to our deck but that's pretty much the house i mean i told you guys it was 1350 square feet it feels a little bigger because the windows are so big it's only 1350 square feet inside but then we have like a ton of deck space and outdoor so it kind of makes up for it which is nice so this is our upper deck and i again mixed consignment and vintage furniture with new and just pairing cute little stools and stuff like that just to make it kind of warm and cozy but also feel kind of chic
So that's our house. We love it. Thanks for coming along and checking it out. I will see you guys next week for another video, but if you haven't already, please subscribe and like and let me know what your home style is. I love to know. We love our place. It's perfect for us and love living in LA and being around like all the action and I'm not sure how much longer we'll be here because it seems like we're on track for every year, but I think we'll be here for at least another year because we love it. But I hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys next week with another video. Bye.